What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? It's your boy Roy back with another episode of the Preaching the Burns podcast. As you see, I'm really just doing me and <laughs> trying to do this shit real fast for your ass. We, we, we in California, the sun is setting on this time, just like the sun is set on you know Jason Kelsey's time playing for our beloved franchise. But we're gonna go over some Eagles news and we're gonna go over uh. The five top players. I believe the Eagles should get free agency wise. All the other players don't do it how we don't do it. These are the niggas you supposed to get. These are the niggas you supposed to get. I'm tired of the old, slow, 30 year old niggas you trying to get. We need young guns to run. All right. So let's, let's, let's do this now. So, all right. So, Eagles news. Let's go over that first. So, it's been reported Brandon Graham is going to be coming back for his 14th season. Congratulations to Brandon Graham. That's cool. That's cool. It's also been reported that Eagles are looking at four offensive linemen. They're doing their due diligence. They got the dude from Kansas. I don't remember the dude's name. It's some BB, some baby, some shit like that. I'll put a, a picture up of the old boy. He's huge, though. He don't look like the type of player I would like on, on the squad, though, personally. He's a huge dude. I don't think he moves that well. He looks more like a cowboy to me but hey it's just, it is what it is but anyways that's really the news for you so let's go over the free agents that i want to talk to you about number one person on the list is saquon barkley saquon barkley is killing two birds one stone we take the best player i said i'll repeat it the best player that the giants have the best player the person they should have paid before they paid daniel jones we take the best player, put him behind our offensive line, have him go for 2,000 yards, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want, you know, Saquon Barkley on the squad. Uh, Saquon Barkley is still only 27 years old. We got three, four good years with that nigga. Bro, come on now. Come on. Two birds, one stone for real, for real. And to be honest with you, I'm tired of having defensive players come. I want to build through the draft on defense like I've seen the Chiefs do. With, you know, all those amazing players like Legereus, Sneed, McDuffie, Chris Jones, all them boys drafted, drafted, baby. We need to do the same thing, but that's why Saquon Barkley, in my opinion, is, you know, the number one person on the list. But we're going to go over, you know, free agents on the defense, too, for you. You feel me? Uh, but all right, second person on the list is Antoine Winfield. Antoine Winfield is on the list because he's the best safety out there in the league. And you know for damn sure we need safety help. For damn sure. And Antoine Winfield is only 25 years old. He has 76 solo tackles and 46 assisted. Man is the best safety in the league. A leader amongst men. I really shouldn't have to say much, but the dude's a dog. The dude's a dog. And putting him in here in the back of this system do wonders for us wonders for the old folks that can't really smoke them niggas like they used to but anton winfield will anton winfield gonna smoke your ass if you come over the middle of the field and you'll get a couple interceptions too for me and you baby come on let's go so the next person on the list is cj garner johnson that's the third person on the list. And that's this the person that really shouldn't have left last year. We should have let Bradbury. We should have let Slay go. But we shouldn't have kept them both for show. But it is what it is. We did do that. So we in the future. And we got we to gotta make up. How you got to make up for the mistake you made last year. By letting CJ Gardner Johnson go. By letting Epps go. You got to bring one of them niggas back for show. And CJ Gardner Johnson should be the person. He only had 26 solo tackles. Because he was hurt a lot of the season. But. He's still only 26 years old. And on top of that, he looked really, really good in the 49ers game. Matter of fact, he was wagging. He was waving the 49ers fans away, you know, when they had that 20-point lead. But, you know, the 49ers obviously came back and, you know, did what they had to do. But it wasn't on C.J. Gardner Johnson. It wasn't on them. He did what he had to do. His offense should have put them boys away, but that didn't happen. So it is what it is. And next person on the list is Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen is a dog. Patrick Queen had he had total 133 tackles, 84 solo tackles, and we need oh and he had 3.5 sacks. And we need a dude like that in the middle to help out in the Kobe Dean. Like I said, I really want us to draft people, but I mean let's be honest, Howie Roseman ain't gonna do that shit. Howie Roseman ain't gonna do that shit. Howie Roseman ain't going to do it. He's going to draft some old linemen like he always does. He's going to draft some D linemen like he always does. And he's going to pick up some goddamn free agents. For 
for defense. I'm over that shit. I know you over that shit. But if he does it this year and we suck ass, hopefully that nigga gets canned, okay? Because I'm tired of it. I, I ain't going to say how Roseman hasn't brought us great teams. Obviously, he brought us the Super Bowl. But look, you got to build a team with young players and you got to build it on both sides. And Howard Roseman, for whatever reason, for whatever freaking reason, has not realized that. And I need a boy, I need my boy to realize that or he need to get the hell up out of here. The hell up out of here like yesterday, you feel me? Because our franchise is over L's, over losing. And we mad that Jason Kelsey couldn't ride out on the sunset. Like I'm riding out on y'all with the sunset right now. But since I'm running out of time, let's continue. Let's continue. So DeAndre Swift is my last player sitting on the list. DeAndre Swift is still young. He's about 25, 26. I didn't write that down. But he's still young. He's off. He's just coming off his first contract. And realistically speaking, DeAndre Swift was super underutilized. He had a thousand yards. And we should have thrown into him more. We should have ran in the ball more. There was plenty of games when DeAndre Swift only had six carries tops in a game. Six? How? How? How do you get a thousand yards but there's more than three to four games that I could think of off the top of my head where you only had six carries? We underutilized the hell out of this man. If we had only given this man the rock a cool 15, 16 times every game, 20 times every game, he would have had a thousand five hundred yards. I shit you not. He would have had a thousand five hundred yards. But it's cool though. That's not what happened. We in the future. We can't go back in the past and change it so hopefully we can resign his ass but let me know if you guys think i missed anybody i think those are the five dudes that we absolutely have to sign in free agency everyone else is buns to me except for maybe matabuke but that ain't gonna happen that ain't gonna happen we ain't gonna get no matabuke chris jones we ain't gonna get them niggas we ain't gonna get them niggas them team, them, we ain't gonna no legerious need obviously i thought about legerious need but that nigga already franchise tag it ain't gonna happen come on now and I ain't trying to give up no fucking first round pick for that nigga either. Hello. All right. But let me know how y'all feel. Peace out.